Hello everybody, Aqua Gear here, and welcome back to another episode of Aqua's Adventure. Today we are back on the single player world, and we are going to be building a tree farm back right over here in this big plains area. So yep, I've gotten all the saplings, I've gotten all the materials together, and yep. So when we come back, um, we'll get all our tools together and we'll get started. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright everybody, welcome back, and let's get our tools together. So for the tree farm, where's my tools? I'll need, well, I guess I'll need all my tools. I've collected a bit of each sapling, so, so some oak, birch, spruce, and dark oak. I'm missing, I think, acacia and jungle, but I have no way to get those because I haven't found the biome yet. Um, I know we won't need wood. Let's see. Let's grab some stone for building purposes. Some of that stone. Um, b b b what else would we need? I want to build with stone. I don't want to build with wood because it's a wood farm. It'd be kind of ironic. Um, let's make some slabs. Who doesn't love slabs? No, not with those. With this. Because I'm obviously not going to be building out of stone. Stone slabs are okay to build with. But not actual stone. Let's see how much we have. Let's have a little bit left. Come on, how much more? Oh, I think I made way too many slabs. That's fine. So, first things, f actually, we should grab some dirt, too. So, let's grab some of that dirt, though. No, come back. Nope. Pff, darn it. There we go. Let's grab the rest of it, just in case. Alright. So, let's go out back and do stuff. <laughs> so, I am. I haven't actually picked out where to put this yet. So, maybe right about here. Of course, we're going to have to dig out all this land. And actually, I want to do something that I've actually never done before. Because I've never attempted to try it. I actually want to do a time lapse. So, remember, this is the first time I'll be attempting this. So, don't yell at me <laughs> if something goes wrong. This is just kind of a trial thing. So, um, I'm going to start the time lapse. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Welcome back guys, and yes, I know you were expecting a time lapse, but I'm sorry, I couldn't get it to work because first of all, I don't have any music to put in the background. Second of all, it was super glitchy and laggy, and third of all, um it was just way too long. But I'll show you what I did do. And again, guys, sorry I couldn't get the time lapse to work. It's just it's not my fault. I don't know what to do. But this is the progress that I made, and yep, it's actually a lot of progress. Really what it is, I just flattened out everything. The actual time lapse was about 10 minutes, and I cut it down to like 4, and I couldn't get it any more lower than 4, but the only problem is even like that, it was so glitchy that you can't see anything. So I'm just going to clear out this last row, and we'll actually start to build the tree farm. So, what I know is that each tree needs at least like a little bit of space to grow. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start it from this side. So, let's just see. Let's get some um, slabs up in here. So, let's see. I'm going to make this row right here. So, let's see. How are we going to do this? Um, so, do we need it like that? And then we're going to make like a square for each tree and then plant the tree in the middle. Yep, so I think we're going to do that for each one. And actually we can save on a little bit of resources and just do this for each one. So what we have to do is we got to do that in like a huge line. And then we're going to do that for each tree. And then the dark oak, we're going to have to build a little bit differently since they're sized differently. Also for the jungle. Let's just get this last part because I noticed this is going to kind of cut in. So, And I'm actually really bummed that I couldn't get the time lapse. I was really hoping for that because I love other people's time lapses. So you know what, let's just kind of see how far we can go with this. Let's just, let's stop right about here. Let's pick that back up. And let's try to kind of measure it out. So if we go over here, so then the tree is right here. Yep, if it's right there, then it needs that much room. Let us see if this is right. 
Yep, so it needs one, two, three, four. 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 And we're just going to have to do this all the way until the end. And also, guys, um, if you could help me out a little bit is, again, like I said, how I couldn't do the time lapse because I didn't have any music, stuff like that. If you could maybe give me a link to a website that doesn't, like, like sue me for using their music. So maybe if you know, like, a website where I can get music off from that I can use, that would be much appreciated. But until then, I can't really do time lapses. So this is going to be the oak. So all we really have to do is just plant the oak in the middle right there. And then we would, we would do this with birch. Um, spruce, all the good stuff. And then I want to kind of make a line down the middle. So yeah, that should be enough. And then of course I'll dig out back here. So really, and then I think I should we should make like a one wide gap. So really, just uh, I kind of have to repeat this over and over again until we get all of it done. But honestly, to think like this is using so much space and it's not even getting that much wood out of it. Just kind of sad, but I mean, we do have we do have bone meal, so it's not like it's a problem. We can grow trees really quick. And one day, what I do want to build is um, one of the people that I watch is Mumbo Jumbo, and he actually it's not his design, but he built an automatic tree farm. So I actually want to build that. But guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this and the spruce off, and then I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. Hello, everybody, and yes, I have gotten done with the simple building. So, I added these things for, this is the oak, spruce, birch, and then these trees are actually, I love these trees. The dark oak is probably my favorite tree because it actually doesn't need room to grow. You can just stick four and then it'll just grow, so that's really convenient. And then, um, one thing that kind of gets me mad is... It's not exactly lined up here, but um, <laughs> that should fix it, right? No, not really. But remember, this isn't going to be all of it. I also need to add acacia and jungle down here. So I will be putting that in once I find them. Though jungle, I don't think I'm ever going to find. And acacia is going to take a little bit. But real quick on camera, I just wanted to plant the stuff with you guys. So that's oak. This will be birch. And some of the some of the trees already started to grow in. It's pretty surprising. So let's just plant all these in. And hopefully this tree farm will... Uh, ugh, I totally messed that up. Hopefully this tree farm will get some use. Like a lot of use. Because that's what I'm building it for, right? Um, so let's just stick all these in. And then I want to do some more building around it. I don't want to just leave it like this. And then the dark oak. Hopefully I have enough dark oak. I honestly don't think so, but... Um, just, just Let's just hope for the best. Because if I don't, then it's going to suck. No, I, I'll definitely have enough. Yep. Oh, for a second, I thought I was going to run short. I was really worried. But I guess I'm not. So, yep. Those are all the trees planted. And I'll just let them grow by themselves. I'm not going to bone meal them yet. Real quick. Wow. Did you, what are the chances of you running and a tree just grows right in front of you? That was actually really random. I hope that doesn't like get screwed up on camera. But that was... <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Let's take a sleepy. And let's see what building material we can get for, like, the floors. Um, should we use stone? I'm thinking stone. I don't want to use wood. Oh, we still have our shovel that's almost dead. So what I'm thinking is... I'll leave the dirt in there, but all the way around it. So we just got to dig out this entire part. And just replace it all with stone. I don't even know if I'll have enough stone. I mean, I should. I don't see why I wouldn't. But I never know. I mean, I, I do have a lot of cobble still that I can smelt if I really wanted to right now. That's going to take a little bit. See, I'm just going to go all the way around and just add stone brick. But I want to do it with you guys. Because I want you guys to be with me during the building process. And yes, um, the house over there. I still haven't finished the other side at all. I haven't even touched it. It's just because... Ouch. <laughs> I haven't been really been feeling it, but I'll I'll get started on that really soon. Um, 
I guess I'll just leave that. It's not a big deal right now. Just fell in a stupid hole. Yep. This is actually going to take a lot of digging, isn't it? Oh, well. It's all part of the building process. And I'm thinking what kind of fence we should put around this thing because I don't want to put a huge stone wall because we're so close to my house. And one of the windows to my house is facing this way, so I don't want just a stone wall in front of my window. That would look kind of horrible. So I've... Of course, don't want to do that, but I'll figure that out later. For now, I just want to put the stone bricks in. Actually, we don't got a lot to do. We just got... Why did I say got? You have this strip left, and then that's it. Oh, also these things, but... Um, that's only for the dark oak, so I don't think it's a big deal. I hope my shovel doesn't break, because I want to repair this one. Because I only have seven levels. So hopefully, this doesn't break during this process, because that would probably make me pretty sad because I've actually had this is like my first enchanted shovel too um I right, would need to dig this out and just dig these little parts out and then we are done hopefully this didn't take too long on camera um I just heard something bang in my house that's not good so um let's just get the rest of these sorry there's something all right never mind Okay, we're almost done. Just a little bit left, and then we can start adding the bricks in. Bricks are awesome. I wonder how good the bricks will look with the slabs. I'm not sure. I've never really tested it out on the floor, really. Let's see how many bricks we have. All right, we have about two stacks. Okay, let's start from this side and just start. And it'll be kind of like a sidewalk kind of road, but around the tree farm. So I'm hoping... I'm I'm messing up all these words. I'm hoping it'll look kind of like a sidewalk. Or even if it doesn't, just kind of mix in with the slabs. Yeah, I'm probably not going to have enough bricks at all. If I do, I'm going to be really surprised. Um, yep, we got to go over this part right here. And hopefully you guys don't hear the banging downstairs because there's a lot of banging right now. I can hear it. Um, no, we will not have enough because we still got that one long strip to do. All these long strips, so. Let's actually look if we have any more stone left that we can just put together. Okay, let's run over there, see if we got any stone. Hopefully I do, or I'm going to have to smelt some up, which will take some time. Uh, you guys might hear a car in the background. Alright, so let's see what stone I have left. If that's it, then I'm not going to have enough. Um, I'm just going to grab whatever I can. I know I have some in here, right? Yep, there we go. Do I have any more stone? No, I do not. Alright, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish what I can, and then I'm going to cut out. It, well, I'm going to cut out if I don't have enough. And get the rest of these stone bricks in place. Yep. So, mm, okay, so let's see. We got all that done. Kind of looks weird with the grass. Wow, that was really stupid. Uh, nope, it's an oak. Like Professor Oak. Um, let's see, we got that. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to smelt some more, so I'm just gonna place these last eleven, and I'll probably quit. Bam. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bunch more stone, and Actually, I might finish it off um, putting the bricks in, and then we'll do something about maybe the outside. So, um, I'll see you guys in a second. Welcome back, guys. So, we've got one more thing to do is add the fence around and maybe add some chests for a little bit of storage. So, let's get started. So, I want some fence gates at the start of each one over here. And then fence gates on the other end but let's just start putting fences down and I wanted to put them on the grass here but the only problem is it was too close to the actual house so I'm just gonna have to stick with putting them over here but I don't think it's a big problem really the thing is I want to keep monsters out not in so if monsters want to get out of there they can just hop over but they can't get in because of the fences so I'm pretty okay with that and one more thing that I just thought of is I need lighting in there and I'll take care of that in a second after I take care of this because we still have plenty of time so just need right there and right there and then yes I'll expand it once we get the two other ones I'll expand it even further 
But for now, I'm just going to keep it like this. And it's getting nighttime. I should have went to bed before I started recording. Um, let's just add in the rest. And I'll probably go to bed once night comes. And, okay, this is going to be close. Are you serious? Is that the difference right there? Alright, well, no big deal. We have to go to bed anyway. Can we go to bed now? Nope. Let's just... I don't think we need that many. Just maybe 14. Can we go to bed now? Yes, we can. Thank you. We can go to bed now. Alright, let's run back over. And then we will need a place for chests, but that will be simple enough. Okay, so the fence is done. That's great. So now we can just hop over. And we need a place for fence, um, for chests. I mean, I'm guessing that's gonna be pretty easy. Let's just actually what I've ne I'm gonna do something that I've never tried before. Um, can we put chests in like these places right here and still access them? Yes, we can. That that is amazing. All right, so I'm gonna put chests down here like that. No, no, stop it. Like that. Why will it... Okay. Oh, be wow, I feel really stupid now because chests can't do that. Um, Alright, real quick. Let's make some trap chest because I really want to put that there. So let's see if we have any more iron. Yes, we do. We have a ton of iron. So isn't it sticks, wood... Like that, yep. Let's just do that. So we're gonna need four chests, four trap chests. All right, there we go. And then two more normal chests. Let's get these set in place. So these are the trapped ones. There we go, simple enough. And then let's go to the other side in case maybe we go out that way next time. And I do need to figure out something about these little hallways over here, but I will figure that out later because I don't feel like doing it now. So let's just empty these four, two chests, and then like that. And I should replace that part, but the only problem is, is the tree's right there, so I can't really do anything about it. And the last thing we need is lighting, which, honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to light it with. Well, we could just add torches, but I don't want to do that, really. Let's just stick all that stuff. Do we? I don't, we, we don't have a lot of glowstone, either. That's another problem. Is I want glowstone and see let's see how much we can make and yeah, we can only make 15 pieces it's not gonna be enough unless I somehow have a bunch in here which I don't alright guys what I'm going to do is actually because I really want glowstone I was, I'm gonna go to the nether collect a bunch more glowstone and then I'll see you guys there well guys I've got some glowstone from the nether which is awesome and I got my pick and let us do the actual final thing we need to do and just add the things in. I don't know where I'm going to put them. So I'm thinking maybe at each corner, like right there, there. No, you go back there and then just add them at each corner like that. I mean, it may take up a lot, but I do need to light this place. So I have really no choice. So let's just keep adding stuff. Okay, so that's the first row. And I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Wow. Trees just love to grow when I'm right next to them, don't they? With the dark oak, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'll figure out something. But for now, these ones are a pretty easy pattern. Just do it in every hole. There we go. And the last one is right here. Okay, and let's... Stupid leaves. I don't want to use my axe. That's using durability. Um, so with... Gosh dang it. Right here, I think it's pretty obvious actually. Let's just cut a hole. Right where there's a hole. <laughs> or a gap, whatever. And then we will have to end off the episode. And I think we made pretty good progress. I mean, the whole tree farm is done in one episode. Which I'm pretty happy about. So let's just run along and place glowstone. So no monsters will spawn. Because who likes monsters? Um, bam, bam, bam. Alright, well, um, oh no. Darn it, alright, well, it doesn't matter. 
feeling pretty excited about this place. It looks pretty cool. It's fully functional. I hate when it does it when it does that. I accidentally place an extra block. And we have a lot more glowstone than I thought we would need. So yep, that is all done. So I can consider this project over with. Ex well, no, I can't see that because I still got to add the two saplings that we missed. Alright guys, well, um, I guess the project is kind of done for now unless we get the saplings. So guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.